Welcome back to Dragonfall. We are fixing the sewer pumps. We have uh, fought some unfortunately placed ghouls, but let's see what happens when we touch the operational controls again and try and restart the pumps. Pump is restarting. Pump one is fully operational. Sweet. Pump is deactivating. Blockage detected clearing obstruction. Done. Par pump restart has completed with success. Running diagnostic success. Pump two operating within normal parameters. All right. Yeah, here it is. Cool. A shambling mound of ragged flesh stumbles towards you. There is a look of desperation in its eyes. Please don't shoot. The ghoul's breath reeks of rotting meat. We're not like the others. Well, it's talking, so I'm going to say I'm relaxed. I'm not going to hurt you. The ghoul's voice comes out in a rasping sob. Thank you, stranger. Considering my condition, I had all but given up hope. Who are you? I speak for the Cruz Bazaar's ghoul population. The Krieger strain may have ravaged my body. It feebly paws at the gray, postulant flesh that hangs from its bones. But I have retained my mind. Krieger strain? It nods. Of HMHVV, the virus that has infected us, that has twisted us into this. We are not monsters, ma'am. We are people with an illness, incurable for now, and yet some of us cling to hope. You may think of us as lepers, if you wish. Keep talking. We've lived down here under the Kriz Bazaar for years. For all that time, this place has provided refuge from the world above. We traded our labor for, f for sustenance, both for ourselves and for our feral brothers, and we survived. But now our food supply has been interrupted, and the feral ones have gone mad with hunger. They're a danger to everybody, even us. You worked for food? Who was feeding you? The doctor. A topsider from your Kriz Bazaar. He kept us fed. The contract guaranteed it. Yeah, I thought that doctor was a little bit suspicious. Under the terms of our deal, we maintained the pumps that keep the Kriz Bazaar's sewage flowing. In return, the doctor gave us medical waste to eat. With proper rationing, we found that we could get by on what he gave us. The Decker monitored both sides to ensure our mutual cooperation, but with her death, the doctor has reneged on the deal. Without the food guaranteed by the contract, the Feral Ones have gone mad, and in their madness they have made it too dangerous for us to maintain the pumps. Was this Decker named Monica by any chance? It nods. Yes. Yes, that was her name. Doctor? You mean Dr. Ezkabel? Yes, his contributions kept our community alive, helped us thrive. But now that the Decker is gone, he has demanded payment for our feedings. We have no money, but he does not care. He tells us that we must find some, or that he will let us starve. You are the reason why the sewer system took care of itself. Yes. In truth, we would still work on the pumps, even without the doctor's payments. We love our occupation. It helps us to feel human. But the changes wrought by the Krieger strain require us to eat human flesh. If we don't, we wither and die. Without regular feedings, we will have no choice but to hunt for our food. I think that I have a solution to your problem. I do? Yes, please. Whatever you can... Its milky eyes widen. Yes, please. Whatever you can do. Our situation is desperate. I'm going to have a little talk with De Dr. Escabel. The ghoul nods. Yes. Yes, perhaps you can convince him where we could not. We have a comm link provided to us by the, our, by the Decker. It is a direct line to Escabel's office. If you call him, he will answer. All right. Well, that's a turn I didn't expect. Um, anything else? I'll be back. I mean, it's a little dirty, but otherwise seems okay. 
You pick up the comlink receiver. It's a custom job cobbled together from a jumble of high-end parts. It reminds you of your mission computer, Monica's handiwork. There is a series of staccato clicks as the connection is made. Dr. Escabel's voice pours into your ear. It's thick with a blend of irritation and insolence. If you're calling me to beg again, you might as well hang up now. I've been bled by you people for too long now. There are plenty of trap shops and organ, legger, organ leggers out there who'd pay good money for... Uh... You're not talking to a ghoul, Doc, and I don't beg. Alice? Ezkabel tries to hide the surprise in his voice. He doesn't do a very good job. What... What are you doing on this line, my friend? I've just had a very interesting conversation with some of your long-term customers. I don't know what those things have told you, Alice, but they are not customers. They've never paid me a thing for my services. And... Uh... Cut the shit, Doc. We both know what they've been doing for the Chris Bazaar. Yes, for the Chris Bazaar, not for me. Why should I can continue to give them valuable material for free when this is a, this is the same? I, I mean, this is a this is a fa fascinating social microcosm as it's not a very subtle metaphor, but the idea of an underclass of people doing undesirable jobs um, while uh, people in positions of power, authority, etc. complain about how they have to do things like pay taxes to subsidize the social services and general public good of having a society that doesn't fall apart. Um, uh, anyway, um, let's see. Hmm... You signed a contract. I expect you to honor it. I don't need to threaten him just yet. Contracts don't last forever, and you'll forgive me for saying so, Alice, but I can see no good reason to continue honoring this one. Oh, I can't go back. Uh, my clinic is a business, not a charity. I'm not giving your new friends any more biomaterial unless they pay me for it. Uh, that feels like it's going to get me in trouble. Yes, you will. If you don't, I'll reveal your little secret to the people of the Chris Bazaar. His tone is incredulous. Do that and you'll be getting your ghoul friends killed. The Metbox will storm down there with their arsenal and wipe them out. Yes, they'll come, but the ghouls will already be gone. You, on the other hand, will not be so lucky. There is a pause. When he speaks again, his tone is guarded. What do you mean by that? The knife cuts both ways, Doc. What do you think that your neighbors will do when they find out that you've been feeding human flesh to a pack of ravenous ghouls for over a year? This whole plan was your friend's idea. You sainted, Your sainted Monica is dead. This is how I do business. So tell me, what's it gonna be? There's a long pause. Finally, you hear a sigh. Tell your friends that I've changed my mind. Their feedings will resume directly at no additional cost. There's a click as he disconnects the line. That feels like a, a no-lose scenario. It was more about, the choices were more about um, which path you wanted to go. There were no like skill checks or anything like that that I could see. So I suspect that was just a matter of, hey, what tone do you want to take with this dickhead? Um, so, eh, all's well that ends well. Fuck that guy. You're back. Uh, I've spoken with Ezkabel. You can expect your regularly scheduled feedings to start up any day now. Thank you so much, Topsider. This means more to us than you can know. 
All right. Well, I think the only thing left to do is, yeah, leave the sewers. It does seem a little unceremonious to just walk out now, but... Uh... Also, there's no ramifications for killing the feral ghouls. I know they were allegedly feral and all that, but it still feels like the kind of thing you ought to apologize for, maybe. I don't know. At least offer condolences for your self-defense. The fresh air of the Kriz Bazaar is a welcome relief after your time in the sewers. A cool breeze drifts across the street, carrying it with it the smells of food being prepared, cheap alcohol being poured, and fires being lit against the cold. The stench of the sewers, however, still lingers in your nose, a bad olfactory aftertaste. At least the pumps are working again. Sewage overflowing into the streets would certainly smell far worse. All right, well, uh, let's see. What have you got, buddy? Drek, finally. I was worried that you wouldn't come back either. So tell me, what happened? Everything go okay? It's taken care of. You can leave. After you give me my money. What about Victor? Your friend isn't coming. I'm sorry. Christ, poor Vic. I don't know how I'm going to tell his folks. Real close-knit family they were. Uh, I'm slightly nervous since I wasn't able to read what he wrote that he might report the ghouls or something like that. But they were just feral, so the ones he saw were feral. So, I found this on his body. Maybe you could give it to them. Hey, thanks. They'll... He turns the manual over in his hands, rubs his thumb over the careworn paper cover. They'll appreciate it. Here's the money I promised you. All right. Well, let's see. What have we got? Um... So we've got the Frankfurt Tour mission, and then we've got another quest to pick up if we want it. I'm trying to remember because this one's optional, um, which I mean I think it means the main, the next main quest. Hold on, let's take a peek. Um, Let's see, does anyone have anything to say about the mission we just did? Any th thoughts about that last run that you'd like to share? All right, I guess we'll just check in with everybody just in case. Something tells me the optional missions aren't gonna have triggers, but. Come on. Okay, yeah, they're all done. Um, all right, let's take a quick peek. And the mission computer. Claim payment for the Humanus data, data seal. Data steal? You submit the job is finished. Await your client's response. Message pops on the screen. Here's your payment as promised. Reckenbauer. Moment later, second message pops into your inbox. Payment details. Payment from client. 22500 Deductions for crew salary. 6000 Ammunition and resupply costs, 1500 Automatic deduction for Alice funds. Oh, got it. Wait, why automatic deduction? Why don't I get to decide? I mean, we're not getting paid a lot, man. Like, I still need to equip the team. And if that means we have to run one more diff... Like, you gotta spend money to make money, right? We could run a bunch of low-level missions that are low risk, but it's going to take a long time, even if it are, we don't have to upgrade our equipment. If we upgrade our equipment, I mean, we know sort of what's at stake here in the big, in the grand scheme. So it's important to make those investments at some point. And the earlier we make them, the more they pay off. 
because we can if we buy gear early we can do harder missions um, so having you automatically deduct eleven thousand two hundred and fifty hmm. let's see so we've got yeah okay the two the prototype and the pharma cleanup um but we're not going to do those right now. Uh, okay. I'm going to call the episode, and I think when we come back, we'll do the Frankfurter Tor mission. Which I'm trying to remember the details of. Sure wish there was a way to review the... I mean, we picked that up like, what, ten episodes ago? More than that? So I almost, I don't know, that was, I probably played that two months ago. Um, anyway, we'll see what's up with that on the next episode. I'll see you guys then.